This is the unit 10.1. This unit is about the basic content and structure of a social report or non financial information report. Let's have a double approach to a social report. On the one hand, we, have, we consider the content and on the other hand, we consider the structure of the social report. Regarding the contents, we can have two main questions. The first, what is the purpose of the report? So why it was written? And the second, what are the key questions to consider? Speaking about the purpose of the social report, it can be an instrument for social dialogue and positive proposals. It can also be the expression and definition of workers' representatives' opinion, which can also point out serious omissions or best practices in the, in the company. At the same time, the social report is also an assessment. What are we assessing? The compliance of the company's behavior with their corporate social responsibility principles. And the aim of the social report can be also to include information about relevant topics for workers' representatives. For example, employment, salary inequality, training, occupational health and safety in the company. The second point of our content analysis are the key questions. I will give you some examples. All of them express trade unions' priorities. We can ask if a non-financial information report managed to identify the impacts of company activities on society. And this is for analyzing the non-financial information report from a perspective of society in general, assessing how the company integrates the social, environmental and ethics concerns in its management and performance. So we ask if it's creating shared value for all, how it identifies, prevent and mitigate its possible adverse consequences. Another key question can be stakeholders' identification and engagement. In a report, stakeholders must be clearly identified and the non-financial information report should respond to the needs and expectations of its stakeholders. If not, there is a risk that the non-financial information report is focusing too much on certain stakeholders or it is not taking in account enough the society's interest in general. In order to avoid it, we have to analyze how the stakeholders were identified and how the participation system is working in the company. Then we can have the focus on KPISP questions. For example, we can see if the non-financial information report is speaking about the main 31 main KPIs which are important for trade unions. Another key question can be the due diligence approach in non-financial information report. Due diligence means that a company evaluates a decision before taking it, taking into account the possible impacts and the consequences of carrying it out. Asking if it is done by the company Non-financial information report is again very useful, can be very useful. Now, after having seen uh, the possible purposes of a social report and the key questions to analyze, let's see what can be the basic structure of a social report. According to the previous reflection, we propose five main parts for a social report. The first one, an introduction. The second one, methodology description or the operative guidelines of report production. Third one, description of company profile. Fourth, description of report profile. And five is the analysis of content. It is important to remember that no financial information report analysis is not necessarily complying with the GRI standards even if uh, GRI is the mainly used reporting standard. As various reports are using various standards, a social report generally should be based on a general analysis of the key questions and key issues, then the results and conclusions coming from the Sanofi analysis tool, and the Sanofi has 31 KPIs. Thank you.
you for your attention.